Jack in there! Tasha! I work with two of you! I'm Tamara Drew. What? I'm supposed to be interviewing you for the Independent. It was scheduled for later, but it's now a good time. Your characters, uh, it, Mr. Freer says he was not going to make this movie until he got the cast that he wanted to make it. Does that give you more confidence as actors knowing going forward that, wow, like the so my director nice so know that Stephen was happy with us from, de from from you know from the beginning. Obviously, wasn't happy at the end because we didn't fulfill what we wanted. But there we go. <laughs> no, but it's, it was nice. Yeah, I did feel more co like quite confident. You know that he'd chosen the person, the people that he wanted in the film. He was happy. He made us happy. It's very when you're doing work like this, particularly comedy. Mm -hmm. then, then you, have, knowing that he's chosen the car, knowing that, you, that he felt what you did for the read through or when you've done an audition for him, he then gives you free range to do whatever you like. And the confidence that you get from that, knowing that he likes the work that you've shown him, then you, you've, you, can, you can kind of go to extremes really and almost make very colourful caricatures, which you need to, I think, with something that's developed from mm. a graphic novel. And speaking of the graphic novel, did, was that a good resource for you, or were you sort of like, I don't want to pay attention to it because... We, you know, I really wanted to stay as clear, far away from the character that I saw in the graphic mm. novel as possible. It made it mm. completely, completely different. I was, I was aware of the, the book by the time we'd started shooting, but it wasn't something that I referred to ever, because we... Posey wrote the book, Moira Buffini wrote an amazing screenplay, and Stephen was directing us from that, and so that's where I got my inspiration from. It was nice to have the book there, but it wasn't something that I referred to. This, you know, in the US, most people don't know of this graphic novel. Is it well known in the, in the UK? Is it something that, yeah, like, you had people... it was very popular. I mean, it was popular enough for it to be made into a graphic novel. Um, you know, it was, uh, she poses, is, she's been doing it for a very long time. She's got other, other strips that she's done in The Guardian. And, um, it was published I mean, in a very popular newspaper very for, popular. for years. Like so when you story. told friends you were doing this, were they like, oh my, was it there, they were like, oh my gosh, are you so Very read? mixed, yeah. very varied. Well, it's weird, it. you know, the, I, um, Mike Newell knew of Tamara Drew, <laughs> and I, I, I did dinner with him uh, months ago, and he actually <laughs> said he followed it, and that was somebody I would never <laughs> have thought would have been uh, uh, a reader of that strip. But, you know, it, it strip is only this long, it's once a week, I suppose it must have been read by a lot of people. You and um, Gemma both uh, were in Clash of the Titans, and you were on the Mortals. It was on the Immortal set. Got to see it was oh, very right. cool. Yes. Did you have any, you know, God envy that you know you were one of the few people in the cast who haven't actually got to go play one of these fantastical characters? Um, I played Hippolytus in a play that I did last year. So then. oh, so you got to do it more than once then. So that's and that was a play. That was that was a that play. Was serious. So that that beats anything that they got to do. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> try to stump you guys. Anyway. <laughs>